The narrative from the media, and the three of us are obviously a part of our part of it, seems to be that Peyton Manning is trying to get used to a new offense. Is that fair? Yes. Okay. It's, it's definitely a changed offense. It's not entirely new, but it's, an, it's definitely a different offense than he ran the previous three seasons. I didn't see much difference yesterday, honestly, except for the one bootleg that I did in the previous three seasons. He was in shotgun. He was in hurry up. He was throwing the ball. What what difference from last year to yesterday am I missing? Well, you're right. They were in 44 of 65 snaps, not including punts and kicks. They were in shotgun, but it was more pistol than shotgun, which is different. And the, they had double tight ends several times, which is different. Uh, the, the routes they run in this offense are different than they ran in Gaze's offense. So there is some nuance to it that, that we're not, you know, you don't appreciate it on first glance where it looks like, oh, they're three wide and Manning's in shotgun. But there are differences. Cause they are tub- There's a lot of double tight ends. A lot of times when they have four receivers, C.J. Anderson was the fourth receiver split out. So there are differences. Um, the issue he dealt with yesterday was not an arm strength issue, wasn't an age issue for me, was the pressure. They He was under pressure too much. He got sacked four times. He never had that happen in his Broncos career at home until yesterday. He's only had it happen once that night in Indianapolis when Mathis went crazy. And so he's under pressure, and he's also in a situation where he's getting hit. I mean, it's not just the pressure. On the interception, he got smoked, and that can't continue to happen. And I talked to Evan Mathis today, and Mathis said that, you know, that's going to be his worst game of the year, that he's got to get better. I mean, they can't be, if they want to finish the season with Peyton Manning, he can't be getting sat four times a game and get hit, you know, another four or five times. That's not a recipe for him to survive the season. Okay, so I'm asking you this question based on you being in the media, you being around this organization a lot, and it's purely opinion. You're not going to obviously be able to base it on fact. So with that, what does your gut instinct tell you when I ask you, if Peyton Manning had his choice, would he rather have Adam Gase back here or Gary Kubiak with Denison? He'd rather have his old offense because that's what he's comfortable with. But at his age, at 39, can they win a Super Bowl with that offense? I think the answer is no. They've proven that. He had the greatest single season in NFL history, and they didn't win a Super Bowl. Last year, he had a good season, and he, by great by most measures, 39 touchdowns, and they didn't even win a playoff game. So, I mean, at this point of his legacy, Eric, do you want to keep piling up stats that nobody remembers? I mean, these stats are unreal, but it's not baseball. Nobody remembers if he had 71,200 or 70,000. Nobody, rem- other than the 55 touchdowns in a single season, none of those numbers resonate. What right. would resonate? Being the only quarterback to win a Super Bowl with two different teams. That resonates on your legacy. Right. And that has a chance to happen if you run the ball and play defense late in the season. No team wins by throwing it 50 times consistently. You just don't. And you've got to be able to run the ball and play defense. So would he rather have the other offense? I'm sure he would. He's more comfortable in it. But at the end of the day, do you want to be one and done in the playoffs? I mean, that's what last year's offense got him. Hmm. Troy, as always, great stuff and appreciate your time. And uh, and we'll see you out there this week, all right? You got it, guys. Take care. All right. Troy Rank of the Denver Post. And that was brought to you by John Elway Chevrolet, Colorado's number one Chevy dealer. When you go to buy a car, what do you really want? You probably want a lot of cars to choose from. And you want the dealership's best price. Not some starting price or target price. The best price. And you want it immediately, not after hours of negotiating. And you want a salesperson who doesn't get paid more if you spend more. Because, well, you don't want to spend more. Well, you're in luck. John Elway wants all of those things, too. Better yet, John Elway wants you to have all of those things, too. Come see us or click on johnelwaychevrolet.com.